I get that you're angry, and, and believe me, I am too. I mean, if it weren't for Dante and Michael, would have never went to Pentonville, and Jason wouldn't be stuck in the situation that he's stuck in right now for no reason. But Spinelli, I have never seen you act like this. It, it kind of scares me. I've never, I've never seen you so dark. I've accepted that. Max Mista and my destiny is to be friends, not lovers. Just as Fair Lulu will one day see the badge-wearing betrayer's true nature. Better she finds out before it's too late. I hope the Jackal's actions hasten that process. No, well, 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 what actions? Stone Cold. Um, the Jackal offers praise and accommodation for rising above the rabble of other manipulative minions of law enforcement to prove that you are indeed the exception. While I appreciate your enthusiasm, Jason is out for one reason. It's to catch Franco. Yeah, okay, listen, I need your help. This was waiting for me and myself. What is it? The place where Franco wants to meet. It was taken on the steps of some public plaza in Los Angeles. Can you figure out which one it's at? Please. Nice work. Well, it better not be in vain. Grab your stuff. Soon we get to LA, the sooner we catch Franco. And the sooner Jason gets back to Pentonville. For good this time. Sounds like a win win to me. Before Jason came after the camera. Well, that's all I need. The footage is perfect. Well, I just don't think it's gonna make sense, especially with the way you're presenting it. It'll get the point across. So Spinelli's sure about the place in the picture, right? Yes, he's sure. Yeah, LA's a big place. There's gotta be a lot of plazas with those same kind of steps. Found that place pretty quick. It's a shame he's wasting his talents working for you. You know, you probably don't even really mind this all that much, this Franco thing. I mean, it has gotten you out of jail where, you know, you've been doing is sitting about your remaining sentence. It was worth going to prison to protect my life. Look, <clears throat> our priority when we get to LA is just to get Franco. This is a game to Franco. And he's not going to like you getting involved. Well, that's good. Now I know where I stand with everybody. Neither of you would think twice about killing me. Clue in the treasure hunt. It's right there. Looks like the plaza from outside with pieces of buildings from Port Charles. This is the studio and the gallery where we had a show. And this is the plexiglass box I found Sam in. May I help you? Oh, yeah. Do you run this place? No, I'm Wilhelm von Schlegel. I represent the artist who is staging tonight's special exhibit. What is this thing? And you are? A collector. I see. Is this the artist's work? No, it's a scale model of the installation that we will be setting up in the plaza. Oh, it's a model. OK, that makes sense. So the artist tries it out in here and then puts it up outside. So I'm guessing you understand that your artist is actually a serial killer. speculations that surround this particular artist is an integral aspect to all of his work and to confirm or deny his involvement in these alleged crimes well uh, that would damage the integrity of the installation even before it opens also uh, well he would dilute his commentary on the uh, pain and confusion of the human condition and the secrets that we all keep so the bigger the mystery, the bigger the price tag, right? No, no, the installation has nothing to do with money. It is a juxtaposition of uh, beauty and horror. And it is a, a biting commentary on the, the nature of media and the blurring lines between what is real and what seems to be real and the conflict between the, the brutality of death and the vitality of life itself. I I think he just said that he has no problem supporting a serial killer if the price is right. Uh, well, I see that uh, you do not fully grasp the significance of the installation, but uh, suffice it to say it is an unprecedented event. So a, a version of this is going to be set up outside? 
Yes, yes, this is the largest event that we have ever presented. Which means we're talking full-size rooms. Of course. So where are these elements being stored in a warehouse somewhere? Oh, I'm afraid I cannot divulge that information. <laughs> Franco wants me to know. Well, I seriously doubt that he would... My name is Jason Morgan. Did Franco leave a message for me? As a matter of fact, Mr. Morgan, he did. The great admirer of your work. He says you were his primary inspiration. Yeah, Jason's very good at what he does. Do you have representation? He works alone. Oh, well, I would be honored to represent you on a project-by-project -project basis or a, a more comprehensive arrangement. Have you seen his work? No, but Franco says he's the one true artist he admires. Uh, perhaps you would consider a shared exhibit? Oh, no, we don't want Jason and Franco trying to show off in front of each other. That could uh, be pretty messy for the bystanders. Well, Franco was adamant that I should be at your disposal. Then I'm going to need to know where the rest of the installation is being stored. Certainly. Franco thinks you're an artist, and now he makes you the art. Franco's put my whole life on display. This freezer, Franco's workshop, that is an exact replica of Jocelyn's crib. Broken at Carly's house and spray painted him on that. This stuff right here, Franco's workshop. from the alley. You know, you, you almost have to respect a mind that's twisted. I mean, he thinks you understand it. Good luck getting inside of that head. Franco thinks I'm already there. Maybe he's right. Takes a cycle to catch a cycle. It's gonna be a fun trip. Jason, take a look at this. It's a desk from Franco Studio. It's all hooked up, ready to go. What the hell was that? 